Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Here I am again. I am once again recording these ahead of time. I don't know, man. I've been playing so much of this game just in my free time. It's fun. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, my feeling, so I've been, I wonder, do you think that in the logbook somewhere there is like the party layout? I, uh, someone compile all the party layouts for me or something like that. If you, if you know a link or a resource to it, let me know. Uh, I would love to talk about those a little bit. Right now, my only party that I think has a very high variance on clicking is greens, because sometimes you're going to click this and have no damage. Uh, I'm going to click on magical, because I think magical is bad because thorns exist, but fun. So I'm going to play it. We got item poison with pockets. I'm not playing glass helm. Ooh, summon a demon. That seems fun. Times two versus targets with 100 plus HP. Um... Oh, you could combo that with, uh, you know what it is. The There's a tier 3 item that gives 100 empty max HP. Uh, I think early curses 1 is a little bit easier than item poison, but they're both pretty free. Bring the, yeah, skulk 3 is extremely fine. There's some tier 1 curses that you can get stuck on and have trouble with, but for the most part I think it's all good. One of the things that killed one of my streaks though was this party into seeds. I did have a loss for that. So we gotta watch out for... It's like the full seed combat here. If enough of them hatch, you can just die. Especially especially if you pick something like Presence early. I'm actually not gonna pick Presence here. My feeling is that while this character is cool, they don't bring anything to the table for this party other than more mana, and we need to diversify our damage output. I think, I will say it, I think Priestess is okay. Monster left, plus one. Burst cooldown is crazy, by the way. This as a tier one is absurd. But in the red, red, blue... Nah, I'm just gonna go monster left plus one. Burst cooldown is like a three. Forget burst is a four, though. So, my opinion is moot. I suppose. Yeah, so if you don't know about pockets, this guy has fierce. Fierce is one of the, I think, new keywords. So, it's basically like double damage, but only if you... Uh, take them below. It's, it's double damage if it's lethal, right? So it's like target flees if they have two or less HP, so I can kill a guy from four HP with that. Uh, the priestess tech, by the way, if you're curious about this character and how we're going to play her, is you're going to click on the heal for vitality and you're going to click on absolutely nothing else. Like, ever. I guess that's not true, right? That is an incorrect statement. There are going to be times where you're going to want to click on the heal one because it saves someone, or you're going to want to click on the one mana because it gives you the mana to cast a spell you need to save someone. But for the most part, uh, no, actually, the only time you press heal one is if it saves more than one person. The only time you roll for mana is if you needed to press save or burst an enemy. That's the better way to put it. And we'll take Scar. Ooh, I do not want to play slow spells in this, so... We can play Slippery Dice 3. It's not terrible. I don't like Slippery Dice 3. I don't like Slippery Dice at all, but it's not terrible. Inflictings are very goofy. So, like, Cultist and Priestess are probably never gonna lock. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we can Fierce kill the rat. Priestess, so... The shift that this character experienced is that all of their power, all of her power is now front loaded, basically. So it's all in on this prey, but the prey value. So before prey was two mana and you could cast as much as you want. Now it's one mana deplete, which means that the first and second cast are cheaper and then it gets more expensive as you go on. So basically don't care until you get into the third cast and but mostly by the time you're into the third cast you've already won your fight that's my experience so far anyway oh man i do not like this um hmm. i'm gonna take the random here so here's the trouble Maiko, his spell is worthless in this team comp. His spell is good when you can get value out of the plus one to do something useful. Uh, and our blue is our big powerhouse, so we can't play this guy. 
Enchanter is bad because Enchanter brings nothing to the table. I will random. Caldera? Fine. Must be equipped. Death is permanent. Hmm. That's a weird tier one. All heroes add Sticky to the left side. Yeah, basically every character you can work with this. I don't care. Sticky is, if it hits this side now, it'll lock the side automatically, and you can't reroll it. That's fine. Not many characters can I think of where I would roll a side, like the left side, and then go, oh man, sad I rolled that. What a shame. I'm gonna assume Priestess hits. Yeah, okay, fierce, fine. Hmm. I should not have assumed I was gonna hit. Do I have lethal? I have to take- I have to do six. Eight. Six. No, I'm two off. Okay. So, the trick here... My feeling is that you just let Caldera die. The logic is very simple. Uh, I'm probably not going to need him to be full health, and by spending the mana to kill Bramble, I will win this fight much faster. That is- it's the theory, it's not necessarily guaranteed. That's my thought here. Because now, Bramble dies. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. Maybe going for Rat instead there, but nah. One. There you go. I don't know. You can play it slower, but I don't think I really care to. Patient to the left side? Nah. I mean, Blessed Ring is just very good. Field 1 rescue is very good. By the way, uh, I wanted to ask you guys this. Please tell me how you feel. I've been talking about how I want to go faster in these runs, right? Go, go, go. Uh, and that's fine. I am I'm. I feel like I'm getting pretty good at it. The game just told me Gardener can't be locked. You all right? Uh, but you are the more important aspect of this. Do you guys feel like I'm going too fast? Now, you know what I want here? I want to do... not this. I want to do this. Uh, we're going to let the pseudo go down to poison, and then ideally he low rolls damage here. Okay. No, he did not. Oh, is this turn three? This is turn... no. Oh, monster left. Monster left. Got it. Well, my thought was I would just go... No, oh, let me hit done rolling. If you don't know this trick, by the way, you can hit done rolling if you just want to try things without, or with the can't be locked effect. Uh, my thought was that I would just let the pseudo die to poison, play defensive, and then uh, let the blind run. Might actually still be pretty viable. I can do it and only lose Gardener. Do you have pockets? You have a dodge. Gardener could roll me two mana to save herself, maybe? I'm willing to roll for it. Okay. I think that should save. Oh, it's close. Can you burst? No, okay. Off by one. Okay, uh, this is the thing, right? I could sit here and I could fight this out for a while. I don't care. You guys go ahead. I don't mind Gardener dying there. Spellblade is an excellent take for this team, I think. Makes a lot of sense. I can go empty max HP here. A chest. I think they toned back the chests, by the way. I'm pretty sure I... I mean, I haven't... I don't know about you. I haven't been seeing them in as horrific of positions as they've been in before. Mm, whatever you want here. Sure. I would really like to kill this chest, but I don't think I can. Does it run away before it dies to poison? Do you... who knows? Let's find out. I actually don't know. Does it die or does it run? I think it dies. It does die. Okay, cool. Good to know for the future. One mana. Your one mana is good. Spellblade's one mana is bad. Pocket's one damage. It's a long road to killing this ogre, but I can walk it. You know what they say. Skanacht. 
say that every day. I was walking down the street the other day, someone walked up to me, I, uh, I said, hey buddy, you dropped your wallet. And I handed it to him, and he looked at me, and he said, Skanacht. And I went, huh? Oh, that's super interesting. This curse? Wait, these curses are fighting each other. Slippery Dice and Left Sticky are fighting each other. Because if there's three things locked and it tries to lock, it can't. I didn't think about that. That's cool. So you go, actually you go imbue. First, fierce, first, first, first. Twin daggers? What a great payout. I guess it's not that good, actually. And duvet sucks, and whetstone sucks here. Uh, I guess sometimes duvet is okay, because you're gonna lock... It's like maybe the three damage cruel, but I'd rather take the random. Yeah, juice is fine. This is self-cleanse. First time I read it, I thought it was just regular cleanse. It's self-cleanse. Only cleanses yourself. Still fine. Uh, I guess Twin Daggers isn't super good because of the sticky, but we'll see. I don't think I've gotten the cast Caldera spell yet, by the way. Bit of a shame. But there hasn't been many fights for it, really. Wow, we really rolled like this, huh? So... Garden Spellblade's taking three weekends, so we can just ignore these three illusions because they're hitting Spellblade who only like, like can stop all of them, right? You can only deal with it if you can stop all of them. So we can go here. I'm down to just set the shade to die. And we celebrate the pseudo low rolling a one here. Spellblade's out of the fight, but pockets can clean up here. <laughs> Never mind. Gardener can't be locked. I'll let me get done rolling then. And we can go first fierce. That'll be fine. They're just keeping my spellblade locked up, but I'm happy with that. This is the skulk turn. That's why it looks bad. Oh, right. Oh yeah. Don't worry, Pockets. You're gonna make it, buddy. I have to kill one of them. And Spellblade goes off next turn. Spellblade kills two here, I'm pretty confident. One. Alright, there we go. A little bit of effort, but it was never scary. Herbalist? Super down with. Absolutely, yeah. It's a good look when we have almost no X's like this. I think my biggest tip that I'm picking up, I guess not my biggest tip, but one of the things that I'm picking up on with uh, tier tier one greys is that you should try to hold them for as long as possible because tier two greys aren't very impactful. So holding on to tier ones is a little bit better. I think I'm going to have a lot of trouble killing the sarcophagus here. But I'm gonna try. I don't think it's out of the question. And I can always scald through this. I think. I will. Here we go, here we go. I want like these so that I can at least... I guess it doesn't matter. Oof. Gross. So eventually we have to face the music here, and the music is playing loud. And it says, you're not killing this sarcophagus. It's a E for vine. Huh. I mean, it's not terrible. He's gonna fuck off next turn. That's the scald math. 
Can we get the poison into the sarcophagus instead of the one mana left over? I think that's the play. Yeah, he's leaving. Sarcophagus just sat here and spat out a bunch of bullshit and then left. You should roll for two mana. Or the three damage, actually. I, I'm i going all hands on deck here. Because here's one of the situations where we want to... Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, I was going to say, if he rolls the rescue, it's whatever. This is one of the situations, though, where you really want to try to play for uh, more than four healing, right? Because I'm trying to kill. I'm not trying to just be okay here. Now, let's begin doing some nonsense. You guys interested in a little nonsense here? Because I got a little nonsense lined up, I think. No, I don't think I do, actually. I was going to say we can do this rescue. The, the problem here, by the way, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Anyway, let me make sure this is how it works. Yeah, you don't get the item if he runs. So, why bother, basically? So then what now? You can give that bones an extra HP. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe you could get like a cool little play off of that. Whatever. He can go. I should... I think I'm down to pierce this Nola way, actually. A little disappointing, but... Maybe you see some line where I kill the sarcophagus here, but I think it's tough. These get locked, these get rolled. We're trying to set up a big scald here. Oof, pockets. I am like... I'm not shocked, I'm just disappointed. That's all. This one dies, this one dies, this one dies. I think this should change it. Yeah. Cool, right? No. Magic staff. Oh, yeah. I don't even have to think about that. I know the fangs was there, and I think that's self-heal to all sides. I'm actually not sure what that is. I think it might be self-heal to all heal sides. Let me go check. There's no way I'm clicking anything other than magic staff there. Items tier 4. Oh, it's self-heal to the left side. Yeah, I'm always clicking magic staff spellblade there. You're out of your mind if you don't. I'm, you know, I'm just hitting. I I should just hit done rolling here. Because done rolling there and you just lock in on what you had. The mana, not the mana, the, uh... Give it a sec, I'll get my brain to work again soon. Sorry, that's prey. Uh, you lock in on... Uh... Heal for vitality there. But in the back of my mind, I went, oh yeah, Pockets is going to hit me a few cantrips, right? Don't be fucking stupid. It's like he doesn't even have the item on. It's not like he's getting sticky or anything. He's just missing. Statue. I have Twin Dagger Statue, or I have Mimic. Mimic is a lot better here. This team makes mana. Mimic makes mana. Mimic is good here. I'm not even going to put the Twin Daggers on, honestly. God, I love Spellblade. Caldera is good too. This is the like the obvious 1-2 lock, because it gives you a setup for a big Scald every time. And it goes here and here on these two bones, and then we can go... You're hitting Mimic. One of you's hitting Pri Oh, it's just Carrier hitting Priestess, huh? Does this matter? I don't think so. First here. Scald. I have a two mana left over. So it's slightly better to go like this. And then pray. Oh no, pray doesn't save you. Never mind. Thought I was gonna be cute about it. 
Alright, you can you can fight this out a little more. I bet you could probably put something together that's a little bit better than this. But fuck man, I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe you see it at home. If you're playing along with the prices right home game. Happy with this. Like I just play whatever I roll here. They actually they double one on the skulk turn. That's crazy for them. Longsword Whiskey. I think Whiskey's alright. I'm not a big Longsword fan for a mana plan. Whiskey goes on Priestess for sure. Bunch of empty max HP to play around with, which is cool. Two, four, six, anyone? Nah, you can reroll this. Two mana is your worst side. Well, actually, the one damage copycat's your worst side. And it's sticky, which is kind of scary. But all good. And yeah, in runs like this, where we have a decent idea of where we're trying to go, I think Priestess is solid. Because we have good mana from everyone else, so Priestess can just act as like the healing support uh, character, which is a little more important for runs where you don't get a gray. I know I've talked a lot of shit about grays in the past, and, uh, you know, with good reason. But when you don't have them... Oh my god, I am... This is why I have to use the key bindings, I just can't hit. When you don't have the grays, you'll realize very quickly that you miss them. Because your characters just start dying left and right if you don't one-shot things, and you go, huh, isn't that something? I go, huh, anyway. We imbue Scald. Good. Keep unused rerolls, minus two rerolls, first turn... Plus five rerolls. Am I crazy? Doesn't this seem terrible? Isn't this, if I'm reading this correctly, it's just you get five rerolls and that's it? No, that seems really bad. Yeah, for sure you could profit here. I'm sorry, team. Uh, Team Agent. I know Agent is super fun and super wacky, but you cannot play Agent in this fight. Ah. Good. Prophet is just like, you know, the the natural progression from Priestess to Prophet. Now, Prophet is just Priestess if Priestess was worse. Fuck you, Prophet. I don't know why the fuck I put you on this team. Who let this guy in here? Does anyone know? You're such a rat. Insane rat. Also, Wendigo, like, honestly, probably should not even be allowed to fight this boss. This is such a mismatch. He has no chance here. I already think this boss is kind of a pushover. And, like, man, that was not fair. Don't get it twisted, though. I love that boss. I think he's super cool. Managing to all sides with exactly one hit. I don't think so here. Oh, you can do cantrip one mana game. That's kind of cute. But is it demonic deal? I think it's demonic deal. You might find this to be a little bit horrific, but spellblade hitting four mana is so good, and we have double healers to help. I haven't been putting my items on, have I? Kind of been forgetting. That's all right. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of intuition. So I'm going to play this fight with the build as is. Profit can't be locked. Fine. I mean, ideal. Stiffened. Hmm? Oh, yeah, he's... What the fuck is this guy say? Does anyone know? Does someone translate? Anyway. Uh, we're gonna focus on keeping this idiot spellblade alive now. Maybe not quite like this then. Maybe like this? I don't have prey anymore. That's alright. The setup is good. The big thing to be careful of here is that cantrips are super bad for me now. But, uh, sorry, I got distracted. What I was saying is we're going to do a little bit of intuiting here. We're going to play a few rounds 
with the Spellblade to see how it seems. And if it seems very bad, we are going to stop doing it. Now, sadly, I don't get to make anything run away here, but... Close. Well, the second best thing to do here is bore them to death. I think I'll do that. With Prophet in a, like, double red-blue team, we can really stall. We can do some very disgusting stalling. It's a little awkward because you don't love to stall in the Skulk, but... Spellblade, where's your heal... where's your mana gain? Spellblade? Where's your mana gain? Tell me. Blame yourself. Oh, fine, dude. I'll play it like this. If this is how they want me to play it, this is how I'll play it. I don't mind. I got nowhere to be. You got somewhere to be? Are you in a rush? Because I am not. Mm, I done rolling this. Goes here. Whatever, man. Whatever, whatever. I, like, numerically cannot lose this fight. They do not have the damage to kill me. So there's no reason to do anything other than make it a guarantee, basically. Definitely Fate. I mean, I think Fate is just the GOAT at this point. Huge, huge Fate fan. Especially Spell Rescue. Seems very good. Uh, I didn't get a good handle on how Spellblade is in that fight because she's just missing. Yeah, Mimic also gets an insane side. I could see myself keeping Mimic Spellblade to the end of this run. This Mimic unit, he's pretty good. I have Spellblade. Thank you. I can finally stop yapping. It's about time. Oh, I lost Vine. I'm gonna do this. We set up for Scald, and we assume that on the next turn I'm going to be allowed to press Scald. Very likely. Yeah, this left sticky curse is extremely free. I do think the... The no lock slippery dice 3 is kind of annoying, though. I think this curse is a little bit of trouble. Go ahead, Slinker. You can live to tell the tale. Wooden bracelet. A uh, wooden bracelet often falls off. A lot of times these guys have keywords. So I can take flute. I think Flute Mimic. This guy, it, I think it's very likely that he's staying till the end of the run. I have to say, he's looking pretty strong. Prophet having Sticky on the rescue side is a little bit of a shame. Ooh, Spellblade cannot be locked. This is heal, shield, mana gain, so I can take the mana gain, but I'm gonna roll it. Okay, fine. Uh, this is a spot where we just soothe? Yeah, we end up full health anyway. I was about to go down a line of like, oh, I can do a little bit of rescuing here. It doesn't matter. In this fight, and many fights like it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guarantee I can't lose. And this is a fight that I can guarantee no losses in. You just get to... What's their max damage? It's, uh, 8. Yeah. So we just get ourselves there. Same, same. Sure, man. If you want. But my win condition is just profit right now. Until Caldera gets replaced. In fights with a lot of enemies, you can do a lot of different stuff, but... Yeah. In this fight, it's pretty limited. Let me go five. Takes notes. Agreed. 
We go spell rescue here. It's free health. I'll kill a troll. Mm, yeah. It's fine. This troll has no chance of killing us now. So we get to put all of our work towards damaging him. It's good to be safe, you know. Talked about at the start of this video, I feel like I've been going too fast. Here's a nice, relaxing day at the walk, walk in the park, day at the beach type run. I like these runs a lot where you get to just stall with profit forever. Mm. I... Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, so there's one thing. There's exactly one thing here that you have to be aware of. Kronos is cool. Kronos is good. I have a hard loss, though, if I take Kronos, I think. And it's this guy. Because my team cannot stall out against kill the topmost enemy. And I will not have the DPS to beat him if he just rolls it three times. I think you might just call it fine and move on. because And then I could probably play Mimic Spellblade to the end. Uh, it's kind of a if the trouble arises we face it then sort of deal. Sharp Shot's a no. I'm going to go Kronos. I think uh, there is a real amount of consideration to skipping there, though. I think you can really think about skipping there. I was thinking about this while I was looking at that. I was thinking about Demon Deal Mimic. How does that seem? It seems okay. I think. But I think it's Spellblade Demon Deal. And... Mimic is more likely the one we want to roll down, because if Chronos Locks reuse, that's all good. You can have this rescue side. Oh, I should put Scar on Mimic. Sure. Okay. Like, Troll King, no problem. I am not the least bit afraid of this guy. Okay, that's a little frightening. Uh, we lock five, and I think we lock this two. Very good. Go mana gain. I'm actually down. Troll King is a boss that even in a team that wants to stall forever, you can race Troll King. Troll King is like, respectfully, kind of a joke. His effective HP is so low if you just kill him in two turns compared to the other bosses. Oh, Spellblade. That's my fault. That is so, oh man, that's such a my bad. I forgot that could happen. Talking all this shit. And what happens? Spellblade bites it. And it's still not even close. Uh, what I should do though is I should play safe now and I should just kill the archer off. Yeah, okay. Just checking in. We're gonna go ahead and let Mimic roll. Cool. I love the ding. Yeah, we're gonna just go kill Archer. Lower damage taken to zero here. My fault. It's uh, good to remember, though. I know I thought it at least one at one point in this run. I said to myself, I gotta watch out for cantrips with Spellblade. I don't know if I said it out loud, though. Actually, you may as well take uh, Spell Rescues here. And even so, even with that fuck up, Pro King doesn't even come close to killing me. Chomp Banshee, Mirror Mask, Bullseye, Engage, maybe. I feel like I'm not speaking in full sentences here. <laughs> Mimic Mirror Mask is kind of funny. I think I want Mirror Mask, and we can try some nonsense if we go against the hand. Most cases we're fine. We crush an Abdul, we crush Hexia. Uh, there's just a few things we gotta watch for. Uh, 
I'm gonna go Bullseye, I think. And we're gonna take the Demon Deal away from Spellblade. Spellblade's gonna just die over and over again with this thing. I think it's okay to let it go. It served its purpose. We, I have had a lot of trouble lately with letting it go on items, like especially tier 6s and above. Had a huge, huge trouble with just saying, it's okay. Right? It's fine. I don't need to throw my run here for that tier 1. Or that tier 6 item, I mean to say. I'll be alright if I just take it slow. I will take it slow. I think really hit that cantrip three times, huh? But yeah, I think our plan for... The reason I took Engage, the plan is going to be if we fight the hand, we're going to go Demon Deal Engage and try to Engage six or eight poison onto him right off the jump. That's the, the line I can see that might let us get through. Oh, we don't have Cleanse for Petrify, actually. Hmm. That's an interesting note. Something of note. I have, like, Prophet's Cleanse, but there are things that this team is missing, basically. That is worth mentioning. But it's only bad for Petrify, because we can... Poison is lost to Prophet. Poison... Prophet doesn't kill Poison. Or doesn't get to hear about Poison, I mean. No. Yeah, I know. Okay, go on. Eh, whatever. I don't know. What do you say? Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I got all this cool rescue stuff. I don't need it. I am healing. And waiting. I am patient. I am not going to lose my run for fun, as I seem to want to do. Don't fall for it. Yeah, you see, we get two. I, I, you know, I gotta tell you, it didn't even complain. Spellblade went kind of dry there, didn't even start complaining. Turning over a new leaf and life. Jumble Dabalist. Dabalist is one of the ones you can take. I think Dabalist is worse. Uh, how good is Mimic at this point? Mimic is only one mana side. I like Jumble. Jumble is the fluctuate guy where he just gets random sides. I like Jumble, and I will play Jumble. I think Mimic kind of fell off. And then this guy's going to be rolling down a lot. The max HP, sure. Does he keep the keywords if he replaces sides? That would be cool if he did. What did he get? He got a fucking Crescent Shield, regular defend, revive. Wow, this is like a lot of nothing. Strange. I mean, the Crescent Shield, though. Oh, baby, the Crescent Shield, though. Fuck demons. Oh, yeah, so if you if you copycat the Fluctuate side, because this guy has copy- or this guy has Fluctuate. This has Copycat on it. It'll just fluctuate itself into a random side, as you can see here. Pretty fun. This reads this... Oh god, the demons. Oh, I'm definitely locking these, what the hell. Thought I had other things to do here. No, I'm good to lock these then. Sure, and I'll go for a mana gain side here. Oh, I should. Demons are trouble because we can't just kill them with our mana have to, like, kill them, kill them, you know? It's gonna come out on the profit. Single use. I think you just take the shield to one, shield one to all. You just let the rest go. Yeah, I dropped that for the growth, too. Fine. Honestly, it's whatever. The big news here is we get four into this demon, and then we go weaken... I'm trapped in a hell of my own making. But that's okay. I made it. This is the... worst turn. 
Uh, Spellblade won't ever die here, so I'm not too worried. Rampage, pain. Oh. Cool. I don't really know what I'd do with that, but oh, cool. Can I set him up to go crazy here? I think I can. Hang on. Give me a sec. It goes like... Two imbue, heal shield, burst kill. Oh. Can you not imbue this? Weird. I guess you can imbue this. Why not? Don't you? It feels like you should be allowed to imbue one to all. Maybe that's a jumble problem? I don't know. Sadly, he's not under attack here. If he was under attack, it would be cool rescue stuff, but that's still fine. Shout out to my boy. Collar, triple shuriken. Triple shuriken. It's really good for Spellblade, because it just means that you always double your mana. Or I guess it would actually probably go to Fate, and then I can go 8 mana off of Fate. It's not, like, great, though. But what is Copycat going to give me? Well, it can give me anything, actually. I got triple shuriken. But just calling your shot on this copycat is viable if you like it. Mm. I'm gonna do this. I think Fate is probably my most important character to have the self cleanse on. What'll it be, Jumble? What do you got? Oh, terrible day for Jumble. Wow, wait. Guess I roll. Oof, god. Just an awful set of hits. No mana gain to proc this chain either. Yeesh. Running the numbers. We're gonna wanna kill the zombie while we can. Why is it chaining? Oh! Sticky! Oh! I forgot! How could I forget about Sticky? Of course! Oh, it's so much better than I thought because I can just reuse into it. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. That's good news. Life is less of a horror. More of a dream. What are you? Two revives, two damage to all, Rampage. It's all good. Fine. I guess I roll for the... Yeah. That one's not the sticky one, but that's fine. Because we just go up to... Or no, it goes and you reuse and you go... Like so. We get 17 mana here, which is probably pretty good. Four mana for three damage is a little bit better than four mana for four damage. And then we just face these basilisks down. Basilisks are very weak. That's what you need to know here. Two. He fluctuated into Shifter, which grabbed Fumble, which has a 50% chance to just miss. But it didn't miss, so he basically just fluctuated into a two damage side. With a lot of extra steps. Very cool. Uh, this has sticky, or reuse, or two, and it's, oh, it's self-cleave? Oh, because you don't get the ranged keyword if you, uh, yeah, you don't get ranged if you put the chain onto something that is, like, a defensive option. Okay, that's fair. Does it stay sticky when it's petrified? I don't think it does. I don't actually know that, though. Is any of this sticky? I don't think so. Just thinking about how long I'm gonna be stuck here if I don't hurry up. It's not a big deal, right? You kind of implicitly are agreeing to this when you play the double red party. Ah, uh, but... It's okay. I've just been, like... My brain has been going so fast when I've been playing runs off-camera. I've been, like... Just slamming force parties and running through. So having to slow down is weird. Not the hand. 
Yes! Okay, this shit's free. I think any boss here that isn't the hand is a free win. Uh, we skip this. I might want Assassin, actually. I think I want Assassin, actually. Uh, it's easy to get lost in the sauce a little bit. This Assassin can dodge, weaken, can drop better poison than Spellblade can, and poison is our big win condition versus this boss. So, such it, such is the way. You're gonna be rolling to zero a lot for engage, poison. And do I want any of this? Does it fluctuate off of the pain? Hold on, let's find out. I should have found this out sooner. It does not. Oh, terrible news. Retaining keywords, okay. You see, oftentimes people will say, oh, you didn't read the item to me? And the answer is no, because I would never remember if I just read the item. I have to see it to understand. I just have to have the idea and see if it works. This dude has a five perma boost, by the way. I missed. Tragic. If he hits that five perma boost, oh my god, this fight is over. Okay, so we're gonna put inevitable on poison watch, and then we're gonna spend the rest of our time here wiping out the wisp population. Is that not sticky? No, I guess I don't have a sticky for you. You're biting. I think he... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what I should do here is I should weaken these guys. That breaks is intangible too, because I think he'd heal it back anyway. And I want... Hmm. I'm willing to drop it. I think it's worth it to kill off one of the Wisps. They're the biggest trouble in this fight from this spot. Unless he just rolls self-heal every turn, I will eventually kill him from here. What do you have this turn, Jumble? Five mana gain. Okay, he has a bunch of fine sides. We roll these. Uh, sure. I am down with a four poison. Really just puts an inevitable on you know, inevitable watch. He's very inevitably going to die. So all you do from here to win out, it's very easy. We just have to kill Wisps. As soon as the Wisps are all dead, we win the fight. But my next turn is kind of wasted. He's going to be weakening Prophet Assassin. Assassin, I don't need to worry about this Wisp. Uh, I'm in for a double soothe, basically, is what I'm going to say. But I don't think it's good. I should kill off these wisps because they're going to very quickly cement themselves as unbeatable. And I am not... I don't think anything is going to be even in red here. Yeah. The only unit that's even at risk of dying is Assassin. Shield 4, mana gain, pain. That's good. This is a chain. This is growth. You can lock your one. Good. Yeah, no, I hit done rolling here real quick. Yes. Now, he isn't actually going to take the damage that it estimates here. The game has a very good, like, strong, robust damage estimate, except for it can't take the self-heal. It has no way to really tell you this correctly. You're nine. Uh, what I should do here is I should lock this and roll these two. I do not want Chronos rolling this X. Go for it, buddy. Good. I think that is better. Because we can just spell rescue him anyway. Hmm. You get a little more value here if you go this way, because you're getting the full heal on Jumble. It's a very small amount. I'm going to kill off the Wisp. And we're just going to break his intangible, because again, he's going to... Uh, he's actually... What the fuck? This dude rolled self-damage? Oh my god. God, I act. That's going in the thumbnail. I'll just tell you that right now. 
fucking build your own roulette, except he doesn't kill himself. He just hits himself and doesn't do any damage to the enemies. Oh. Jumble. It's like a... This is a... In, the stars aligned. It's a Venn diagram of shit to kill Jumble here. I almost want to say he deserves it. But... Oh god, if Assassin dies... Okay, we're fine. I was gonna say, if Assassin dies here, this can start to get kind of scary. This is mandatory, by the way. I have to press it. It's five self-damage pain. He hits himself for ten. You know what, Jumble? I believe in second chances. That's what I want you to know, buddy. I will... I believe in second chances. I shouldn't even bother rolling these. Just hit done rolling. What else do you have? It doesn't... I don't... Get away from it. Oh, this isn't the sticky one. Okay. I guess you can live. Oh, we have Spell Rescue. Yeah, it's... We're chilling here. Don't get it twisted. Profit versus Inevitable is a crazy mismatch for Inevitable. Profit crushes this guy. <laughs> Fuck off. He really said, No, you don't get it. I have to die. The thing is, he just took lethal away from me. Because I, if I do nothing there, I have lethal. He took it away. In death. So... I don't know. Uh, if he self-heals here, I think maybe. You know what? Let's be safe. Go ahead and roll me some mana gain shielding. Okay. Good to have hope. There's no way, right? Uh. Okay, we're fine. It's lethal. Man. Jumble, he really went for it. My man, he pulled out all the stops to break that run. You gotta respect the hustle. Good try, buddy. Uh, it's important, though. I mean, the demon deal was obviously wrong. Uh, it's important to learn this at some point. And sure, you could read it, but I'm never gonna, like, I won't lock it into my brain until I do it in a run, basically. I don't learn by reading. I learn by doing. And so, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.